time to let your net down. Even though Peter stayed up all night, even though he was the professional fisherman, even though he had the will and the motivation and the knowledge to do it, to go get what he needed, he couldn't. He kept trying. And through the night, he sat there and he kept trying and he kept throwing it out and he kept getting nothing. A man who is literally doing what he has done for his whole life, the thing he should be the best at, he still couldn't make it happen on his own. But then Jesus stepped in and he came and he challenged his thoughts. He challenged his doubt. And he said, trust me, throw your net back in the water. Just try one more time, just one more time, but believing in my words that I'm speaking to you. And as he did fish so much that this net could barely contain the amount that came overflowing. I believe that God wants me to tell you this story today because he is challenging you. He is challenging your faith and he's challenging your obedience because God's saying to you today is the time to let your net down, to step out in those deep waters, to trust in him, that the promises that he has given you, they are now here. He has given you the word, but it's your chance and your time to move and be obedient. I look down at Deuteronomy, let's see, 7:12. Blessings of Obedience is the title. Then it shall come to pass, because you listen to these judgments and keep and do them, that the Lord your God will keep with you the covenant and the mercy which he swore to your fathers. It goes on into Deuteronomy 8, remember the Lord your God. Every commandment which I command you today, you must be careful to observe that you may live and multiply and go in and possess the land of which the Lord swore to your fathers. And you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant which he swore to your fathers as it is this day. I believe God is wanting me to remind you and myself that he is a big God and he can handle everything that he's called you to do. He's already placed everything you need inside of you. And when you step out in faith, watch the overflow come.